In this video, let's have a look at Old World Detroit. We'll start with uh, the official version of history. We don't actually get a lot of information on the Wikipedia page. Um, basically, uh, key points of time. They walk us through a little bit about of the, uh, the French uh, situation in the 1700s. The fort, how the Americans took control, the Revolutionary War. It's all those key points in the timeline. The Civil War also ends up being huge um, as a pivot here. And uh, uh, part of the Underground Railroad and all the rest of it. Not really much going on as far as I can see until um, the automobile boom and all the rest of that. So um, let's have a quick look at population growth as well. So this again from a Wikipedia page, and they kind of chart us through the, the growth of Detroit and see how the rise and fall um, in here, according to the date. Uh, what we like to look at is back in here, typically in this range here. We've got a lot of buildings popping up right in this time frame. So let's have a look at some of those buildings. Um, see what you think. We'll start with an old map with the big fort um, on the outskirts of the town. This is a supposedly an early plan of the city. And there it is there. This having been built mid-1800s according to my research. Now we're going to go through some old world Detroit. There's a water tower. This is pretty incredible, I think bit of an anomaly and hard to find unless you know what you're looking for. So Detroit also showcasing what we see in the other cities we've looked at with the uh, the brickwork on the roads and the rail lines. And this is the horse and buggy era of course. There's nothing new there. Looking very European here. Looking like a horse with some wings here. Very interesting. Very creative minds. Peace, Carillion. Carillion. An old house. This one dating to 1858. And now we really wanted to touch on what we're seeing here. We see a lot of these buildings. Most of them have been classified as office buildings or hotels. They've got some serious interior finish going on. And uh, while sometimes the exterior looks a bit plain and rectangular, you get a lot of the uh, detail work. If you look a little closer, and I'll show you more like this. Another mansion, Alger Mansion. This is dated 1905, so this would have to have been built quite a bit before then. As you can see, it's covered in ivy. The bathhouse here on Bell Island Park. There's some interesting photos from that area in here as well. Now I found this one, and um, whoever had posted the photo could not place the buildings. Um, and it's not a great photo, but you do get a sense of the detail I was talking about in that previous photograph, postcard. And you also you'll see this look as well where the building takes a bit of a U shape. Um, you see this on quite a few. Uh, like logically as a builder you have to think why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just close that off and uh, stay consistent with your structure? So there's a design element to these for sure. Um, obviously light probably being a factor as well. How much light you take in. There's that similar look, that rectangular look with the details up top. You get some of the ornate balconies. and You also get the bottom layer um, story or two uh, looking quite a bit different with the, uh, the facade, either facade or large stone uh, base. It provides a nice look. This is the art museum. In modern day it's been changed to look nothing like this. Some of these old pictures are a bit confusing too, like this one having this behind it, obviously looking old, 
And then of course it's gone there. Was it cut off? Has something been changed here? I don't know. Hard to trust these old photos. Gives you a sense again of the scale of the build here. And remember the uh, population of Detroit booming seriously according to our Wikipedia chart right around the turn of the century. Um, but not much going on in the 1800s right up until the end. This would be the conservatory. Bell Island again. Spectacular looking greenhouse type structure. You see these from time to time in the old world cities. This they're saying is the ice skating pavilion. Bell Island. Bell Isle. Alright, now we get to the Cadillac Hotel. This was confusing as well. I found several under the name of Cadillac. I know it's an area of Detroit as well. Um, some interior shots here of these hotels and what we're dealing with here. And again, most of these, the timeline is is saying uh, right around 1900, right into 1930, all pre-World War II. So there's a lot of historical haze going on. And of course, in our day and age, not many that remember any of what life was like back then. Um, they're calling this the Book Tower. I've also seen it, the Book Cadillac Tower. You can get a sense of the age of this one up here. And the detail again, like I mentioned. Um, looking somewhat plain and rectangular at the bottom, but you get these flares of detail as you move up. Book Cadillac again. Bit of an atrium style area here. I've seen this detail before as well with the arch windows and the curve um, with the flattening above the um, the window area. Very ornate detail. <laughs> I like this one. This it looks like they're in a crane some more. These guys and uh, uh, this guy's taking some footage for us apparently. And this this guy doesn't seem worried. They're having a great time. No nervousness here, hey? Just out in the middle of nowhere over the city and. I don't know. I'm not sure about this one. It looks possibly a doctored photo. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right to me. You'd think there'd be, I don't know, a little more hesitation with the guys in there. Maybe not. Maybe they were just fearless. I don't know. Broderick and Whitney buildings. And here's a little uh, compilation of some of the mansions that existed. Um, abandoned, they're listed as here. I think that's a whole slew. Detroit looking very run down and abandoned. In modern day, it's amazing what they let go to ruin. Cadillac Square building here, I don't think I have the name right. I think it's a, a different name, but again, look at this. We have, all right. So fairly basic on the bottom, although we're not, we can't really get a sense of the detail. There is some detail in here, but we can't really see it in this photograph. And then you get up to the top. Of course, now it's starting to look more interesting. You get these little, uh, little domes on the corners, a little bit of frill, and the top is just like what? I think we're just going to add a whole lot of detail. And this is almost blacked out in the photo, or whited out, I should say. Um, but you do get a sense for what's going on up here. I don't know. Pretty, pretty cool building, if you ask me. Cadillac Hotel again. Again, I can't tell which is which, so it gets a little really confusing, but this is a nice little shot of some of the detail that we're not really seeing from afar in those other photos, but you get a sense of, uh, oh, what we're looking at here. It should make you think. It should make you t pause and think. Something doesn't quite make sense. We're not being told the whole story. Yeah, that's my angle anyway. Cadillac Hotel as well, this one. Uh, interesting here, look at the little posts we have with the bulbs. I thought that was neat. Uh, built into the side box. I'll try and pull that up so you can see. We have the, the brickwork on the roads as well. Um, very ornate looking stair situation here. Okay. Pumping station waterworks again associated with where that tower was earlier on. Um, Central Market, this is 1885, the saying. 
now we go to the interior of the central station um, interior work again looking very much in the, like the old world style we might see in Europe uh, a lot of detail here a lot of detail and there it is again these are interesting as well you see these from time to time they almost look like a frame for something but it's just like a blank ball or bulb uh, I see that a lot I'm wondering about that what was there a function there or uh, is there something missing that was once there I don't know I'll, I'll keep an eye on that as we move forward really like this too this uh, light situation here nice to look at Uh, this is a side view of the same central station. This place is run down now. It's been used in movies. And here it is from the front, of course. Just run down. Not much going on inside, but have a look. Just have a look at all the detail. And how do you let something like this go to ruin? And how old is it? Really, really foggy and muddy on the background dates on a lot of this stuff. Um, pretty ornate stuff. So, food for thought. Uh, another what is this I don't actually have a name for this I think it's a rail rail station I'm not sure does it say oh yes it does Union Depot 1891 they're giving us a date on there you can trust any of it right? in 1891 they got this going on here no this must be a lot more recent with all this yeah but the saying was built in 1891. And we got uh, tunnels going under the river. I've been to Detroit, so maybe if you're from Detroit, you can tell me a little bit more about the area. River tunnel. Uh, before and after picture for you. What it looked like, what it looks like now. Get the idea. And some lot of churches in here too. I'll breeze through a lot of that. Uh, this is the old opera house. I've got some more of this. Again, you see what's going on up here, and the decorative uh, aspects to this place. The dime bank. I'm seeing this is again. This is that U shape. So nothing new there. Similar shape. There's something about these old hotel type buildings. Here's a construction photo. Is it though? Hmm. Could be. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Not sure about this. Um, This is supposed to be the catwalk. Were they veneering all the steelwork on the way up? Maybe. I don't know. Is there a crane up here somewhere? I don't know. Is that a crane? I don't know. The quality of picture looking a lot worse back here than up here. It's looking very crisp. This torn down, I believe, City Hall, torn down, 61, that date came up in a previous video on Minneapolis, um, the Metropolitan Building that was torn down, same date, they had a series of um, demolitions on the, in that same era, early 60s there, so I suspect this was going on across the board. Lovely Mansard style roof here, three levels of dormers. Memorial Fountain. It took me a while to find the name of this building. It escapes me, I do have it in other photos here. Again, the Cadillac Hotel, we saw that previously. A couple versions of it. Wolverine Hotel, getting that U shape build again kind of get an idea here the detail going on up here here right ornate entry with the columns so architecture repeats itself central high school of course got to have a high school with all the uh, cupolas um, in Detroit here and there's Lady Liberty in Detroit I showed this one to my kids I thought it was interesting um, that they had one here as well as a New York I do find that interesting 
That building in the background looking very old at that time even. This is the Wayne County building. GM, General Motors building. Uh, you're seeing that same pattern repeat itself over here that we saw in the other uh, larger buildings. Uh, the bottom looking very arch-like. Um, there's some detail up here that doesn't come through very well. Got some column type features up here. So, impressive structure, to be sure. Old hospital. Hospital again. Call this the Grand Army of the Republic building. A very old castle-like. Now I have Guardian March. So interesting again. We are looking at a different style going on up here. I don't know if it's a replication or if it's just a different style. Interesting looking buildings. I threw it in there. Henry Ford Hospital. These long stacks come up quite a bit on the old buildings, so old cities. Hotel Cadillac. Pontchartrain, that's what it's called with the Mansard style roof. This is a very picturesque building. It would be cool to have a room up here, wouldn't it? Be interesting. Here's the inside of Hotel Cadillac. So you're getting a lot of detail too. Serious finish work, right? Serious, serious finish work. On the old bridge. Belle Isle. JD Bear House. Actually this one interesting. Let's look down below. That's an interesting feature. You got an arch there. What's under here? Is that where you keep the, uh, I don't know, lawn, uh, lawn stuff in the winter, maybe? I don't know. Interesting feature, for sure. Leland Hotel. Old library. Yeah, old library. Have a look at this one. I don't even know what to say. It's the entry to the library, 1875. Remember now, 1875. Let's have another look. 1875, right in the middle of here. So what, maybe 100,000 people living in this town? And out of that 100,000 people, some serious craftsmen. Not to take away from the official narrative of uh, making iron stoves and cigars was the uh, main thing going on in Detroit before the motor car, before Henry Ford. This is the front entry of the Masonic Temple. Leave it at that. There it is, from further away. Because of course you have to have a pretty uh, elaborate Masonic Temple, don't you? It's a church, I believe. I don't. It's a bit fuzzy. Still fuzzy. And here's that central station we saw previously um, from the front. Saw the detail in a previous picture from this area. Get a, get a sense of the age here again with the brickwork, stonework. Here's the opera house having a feel of uh, old world, I don't know, Belgium or something like that, you know, it just doesn't fit for fur trading developing small city on the Great Lakes. The detail from one of the larger buildings. From this building, the Pinob. I don't want to get it wrong. Pinob Scott, I think. Oh, there's it going up. We saw this similar look earlier. Interesting. Not a lot of photos of any of these things being built. What you get is usually this type of thing, right, where the top still retains its shape. 
uh, but it's some sort of shell and then they're just gonna slap whatever on top of it. Alright, a couple of the uh, juicy bits here. Um, yeah, this one's pretty intense. That's the federal building and post office featured in my uh, post reset post offices um, video. Church of Our Father. This is apparently the old Masonic uh, temple before they got the new one I showed you previously. Oh, before they had this one. This is the new one. Uh, St. Mary Church. Lots of churches like this. I didn't include many in here. Here's the old Union Station. Union Trust. This old feature that you see on a lot of these old buildings as well. The awnings. Cloth awning. Waterworks. Again, Belle Isle. Oh no, sorry, not Belle Isle. The Waterworks area. This again, the Waterworks. It's interesting because the previous photo the tower looking much much taller than the building and located in a different spot so a little confusing here as well and we're gonna wrap up on this one Wayne County building this one still stands um, very very incredible building old world style with all the features of what you find in a lot of the major European cities you get this double chariot effect going on on some of the prominent buildings. All right. It's uh I think a lot more than again we're being told in the official narrative, which is just a quick gloss over. One thing I didn't mention, I think it was the early 1860s, there was some sort of race riot that turned into a fire and all sorts of buildings were destroyed and burned. So that narrative again repeating um much like it does in the other cities. So just, just a little glimpse into old world Detroit. A little bit longer than my most of my videos, but a lot to uh, pack in. And, and with all of this, you can really zone in on an area of any region of any of these places, and uh, you can really get lost in it. And it just keeps keeps revealing more and more mysteries of the past that seem to be uh, unaccounted for. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I thank you for joining me.